Hello, dear doers. Welcome to this video on how to import your opening balances in Odoo. If you have been previously working with another accounting software and just switched to Odoo, you'll have the possibility to import your opening balance easily into your new accounting database. Before importing your spreadsheets, a few steps are necessary to post all the information correctly. First, it is essential to choose the, sec the closing entry from either the end of your fiscal year or the end of your tax period. This way, you can avoid messing up with data from two different systems. All you need to do uh, to complete your upload smoothly is to export your general ledger from your legacy system. In Odoo, we advise you to import not all the details into one single opening balance, but divide it into three. One for the general accounts, one for the customers, and one for the vendors. The receivable account in your general ledger represents the total debit of your customer's balance, while the payable is the total credit of your vendor's balance. You'll also need to import the spreadsheets of your customers and vendors' balances to have all the detailed information about what's owned and what's owed. As I said earlier, dividing the accounts into three different balances makes the journal entries unbalanced. For that, we will use a suspense account to balance everything out. If you are uploading your at the end of your fiscal year, the balance of the suspense account should be down to zero. But if you are uploading during the fiscal year, so at the end of your tax period, the suspense account will be unbalanced as you haven't transferred your total profit or loss into the balance sheet. A last essential aspect for completing your import is to make sure that you have the columns specifying the date, name and reference for each opening balance into your spreadsheet. Another necessary step is to ensure that all the accounts of your import are listed in Odoo, of course, and also make sure that you only have an amount in either the debit or the credit column, uh, but not both, and you shouldn't put zeros either uh, neither in uh, the spreadsheet. For customers and vendors, uh, balances make sure to also specify the related partner on each row so that you can identify which debt belongs to which customer or vendor. Lastly, your bank closing balance should be the same as the starting balance for your first bank statement of the year period. Let's now check out in Odoo how to import your opening balance. Okay guys, so the first thing you need to do when you are in the database and you want to import your opening balance is to create a dedicated journal for those opening balances. So to do that, you go in the configuration menu of the accounting, in the journals menu, and we will create a new one. So let's call it quite simply opening balances. The type should be miscellaneous and let's choose the short code, which is going to be OPB. So it's not an obligation to do so, but I always advise you to do it. So for reporting and investigation purposes afterwards when you're live, it's just more secure. Now I'm going to want to import the opening balances. So in the accounting menu here, you can go in the journal entries menu and in the favorites filter, you can try to import records. I'm going to upload my file here, my opening balance. So here, this is an import view as it is usually in Odoo. You have the possibility to choose the sheet uh, from which you want to import the information in your file. So I'm going to choose the old balance here. And also you have some advanced features here. I'm, I have uh, activated the allow matching with subfields, which is what I need to import my opening balances. And to access those, you need to be in developer mode. And to activate that, you need to go in the settings of your database. So here Odoo also tries to identify some fields based on the title of your columns in your file. So I have already the date, the journal, the reference, and I also have some information from the journal items, which is what is inside the journal entry that I want to import. So I have the account here, the account name, I don't want to take this into account because it's not sufficient to identify which account I need to import the information in, the debit and the credit, okay? so. And once this is done and you have matched all your the, the Odoo fields, you need to test the import. Always do it to make sure everything is fine. Here, everything seems valid because the journal is existing in Odoo. I have all the accounts in the chart of accounts of Odoo. And in the debit and credit, I have only one amount in either of the columns with no zeros and no additional amounts in it. Now I have to import here automatically Odoo will generate a new journal entry and you can see the details of it with all the general 
general accounts in it. And as you can see, I don't have any receivable or payable accounts. And as a counterpart to balance it out, I have the suspense account here, okay? So let's just now do the same, but for uh, the other customer and vendor balances. So I'm going to upload again the same file because it's just in a different sheet. I'm going to put the clients here. So again, I have the same thing. The only thing missing is the customer. So I'm going to put again general items because it's still a related field. And I'm going to find the partner here. So I'm, I need to find the partner identification here. Make sure, again, same as for the accounts, that the customers and the suppliers exist in the contact application of Odoo before uploading it. I'm going to test it out. And as you can see, I have some that are missing. If you haven't created those earlier, what you can do is just create new values or set the value as empty. So either I would advise it to create the new values or create it beforehand. So I'm going to test again, and here uh, we can create as long as we need. Everything seems valid. I'm going to import, and here automatically I have my new balance with the details from my receivable account. And each time you see I have a different partner visible. And again, the counterpart for this entry is going to be the suspense account. We're going to do this one last time for my suppliers. So I'm going to upload again the same file choose my suppliers uh, my suppliers sheet find the vendor so join items vendor uh, partner again because it's actually the same model in Odoo. test it out here sa same i haven't created my uh, partners earlier i'm going to test again everything seems valid i'm going to import and again we have the details for all my vendors I'm going to select all of those together and just post the entries, all of them at once, on the 31st of December, since it was at the end of my fiscal year. So as you can see, it's super easy to import your opening balances in Odoo. If you want to try again yourself or through uh, these examples, you have in attachments to this video the file that I use for the upload. So don't hesitate to try it out. That's all for me in this video. Thank you for watching. Ciao tutti.